Hi, my name is Jonathan. I'm doing my capstone project on alien life. My main inquiry question is, what is your knowledge and understanding about alien life and what role has the government played? I'll be answering that at the end. Enjoy your presentation. The basis of life is water. So I'm going to be starting off with where we would look for aliens. This is the Goldilocks zone. How many of you have hold, heard of Goldilocks? Did you know that this popular children's story is actually has a connection to alien life? Like one bowl of soup is too hot, one bowl of soup is too cold, and one is just right. We look for aliens, alien life, in a place that is just right, meaning the most common place we would find li liquid water. This has to be a place not too far away from the sun, so it, so it won't be too cold and freeze, and not too far and not too close to the sun, so it, won't, so it doesn't evaporate the water. It has to be just in the middle, perfect, perfectly in the middle, just like Earth and Mars. If you ever looked up in the sky and thought to yourself, is that a UFO? Well, there's lots of people out there who use different ways to search for alien life. We have used radio signals and telescopes. Um, in 2006, the European Space Agency launched Kura, the first ever spacecraft dedicated to the search for exoplanets. The NASA reduced funding for the for the set of programs because the government used to pay for the funding, but they don't anymore because they thought it wasn't necessary. NASA had to reduce the findings to private donations to continue their search. Next, I'll talk about some possible evidence for alien life. In 1996, NASA found Martian fossils in a meteorite from Antarctica. In 2004, a weird radio signal was recorded three times coming from space in the same spot. In 2002, a, gr a group of Russian scientists argued that a mysterious radiation-proof species of microbes may live on Mars. In 1976, the Viking Mars lander de um, de detect cam detected chemical, ke chemical signatures indicating of life. In 2004, um, methane um, in the Martian atmosphere hints at microbial metal metallisms. In 2002, chemical hint um, of life were found in old data from Venus probes and landers. Have you ever wondered um, what about the government has what the government has told you and not told you? Since the government released UFO videos from the past, that could mean they are hiding more sightings. Navy pilots spoke about objects that defied the law of, uh, laws of gravity. They could be hiding more, but the chances are really low because the government would make a lot of money if they found um, alien life, so what's the point in hiding it? It would also be very hard to keep a secret in a large group of people searching for aliens, Same says Nina Lanza. Here's a video of the, of the, space, of the UFO the Navy saw. That is the UFO. Okay. You might be wondering, what are some good and bad things about alien life? Some good things are, we could use alien technology to save world problems. We could possibly live on their planets or their spacecrafts. They could also want to help us. Some bad things are, aliens could want to attack us they could want to take over our world and chaos would happen, or they could have diseases and they could want to eat us. I will answer my main inquiry question now. If you forgot it, it my question is, what is our knowledge and understanding of alien life and what role has the government played? Our knowledge and understanding is really nothing. We have no 100% true evidence of alien life. The role of the government plays is funding for searches and missions and getting groups to get and getting together groups for exploring other planets. Thank you for listening to my presentation on alien life. Keep exploring.